Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. We are going to make this part from this drawing. This is 100 millimeter long, 50 millimeter deep, and 63 millimeter height. So let's start with this. Let's open a new part. Part, okay. On the right plane, I will draw a sketch. like so and give it a dimension of 100 millimeter and 63 millimeter okay let me draw a couple of lines here like so this is angle of from here to here is 45 and this one is 20 millimeter 20 degrees sorry and there is a fillet over here of 15 millimeter okay from this point to there it is 15 millimeter and from the same point to this point it is 40 millimeter like so let's trim it Okay, <clears throat> let's draw a cutout here, which is 15 by 40. So let me draw a 15 by 40. From here to here, it is 40. And the height of this is 15 millimeter. Okay, let's trim it also. Now we have to make a circle over here of 60 millimeter and this circle is 35 millimeter from here. Okay. Let me clean it out, clean it a bit. Okay. There is a line from the quadrant to here. I will delete this, make this coincident and make it vertical like so. So this is defined. Let me trim it. The extra portions we don't need and this and this and also this one and this one sketch is not fully defined so let's see what have what is the problem this is moving let me Give it a radius as per drawing, 30 millimeter. And this one is moving. That's why it is not. Let me delete this and give it a dimension from here to here is 63 millimeter. The sketch is fully defined. Let's clean it. Okay. Let's extrude it up to 50 millimeter. 50. Reverse direction. Okay. Let me remove this finish. On this, I will draw a sketch here and another circle from here. This one is 40 millimeter.
and this and this this one and this one are co horizontal relation uh, let us check this is 10 millimeter from here and 10 millimeter of dia 10 millimeter dia and 10 millimeter from here do the dimension of 10 millimeter and 10 millimeter from here to there 10 okay and this 3 are horizontal it's fully defined let me draw a line from here to here I will trim it for 60 meters. I will uh, let me make some convert entities now we will trim it the portion we don't need okay let's cut it is 9 mm and the contour selection I will skip and this both 9 mm is ok ok now I will wake up again at this and extrude it cut and this time I will select only this feature and through all ok this is done now we will draw a circuit over here of from this point like so of 50 millimeter let's cut it up to 13 millimeter it is 13 millimeter here here it is shown it's 30 millimeter deep cut of this one this this angle this circuit okay like so now i will draw a sketch here first i will convert these three entities convert and then i will offset offset only this reverse direction 5 millimeter why it is 5 because this is 30 which we already cut and this is 25 radius is 25 the difference is 5 millimeter so that's why I'm making it 5 millimeter offset okay now let's take a trimming tool and extend these and extend this and trim it I will trim the extra in this I will extrude it up to 8 millimeters reverse direction okay this is 8 millimeter 8 millimeter from here you see let me check the dia this is 20 millimeter dia 20 millimeter dia from here let me make it first on this i will draw a sketch from here is 20 millimeter okay let me make these convert entities and trim and trim this and this and extrude it up to this surface okay because both are in the same line as per as in the drawing those both are in the same line you see from here to this line these are the same line 
<laughs> now I will draw a sketch over here of the same center line, center of 10 millimeter and extrude it. Let me check is 10 millimeter. Yes, it is 10 millimeter here. Let me extrude it up to this surface. Okay. Now it's done. We need to cut from here like so 12 millimeter by 50 millimeter. There is a cut out here 12 by 50. Let me draw a rectangle here. This is 50 millimeter. And this is 12 millimeter. Okay. Let me cut it through all. Okay. Like so. There is um, a one cut here. There is a tapered cut. Let me draw a line here. Give it a dimension from here to here is 18 millimeter as per drawing. And I will make these convert entries and trim. Let me de define the angle first, which is 20 millimeter, 20 degrees, sorry. 20 degree. Let's check. This is 20 degrees, 18 millimeter and 20 degree. Okay. Let's trim it. Let's cut up to next. Like so. Okay. Only thing is left is one hole here. 10 millimeter nine millimeter from this line and 30 millimeter from here sketch is fully defined let's check if it is right or wrong this is 30 millimeter 10 millimeter die and nine millimeter from this edge okay Let's cut it through all. Okay. The part is complete. Only what is left is the material. Let's give it a copper, which is the, which is given in the question. Close. Let's check the mass, mass properties. Evaluate mass properties is 1283.28 which is the correct answer of uh, this question there was a mistake i made uh, on this sketch on the initial sketch this is actually 10 millimeter not 15 that's why the answer was wrong of mass properties so let's make it right now we'll check the mass properties. This is the right answer, 1280.33 grams. Sorry for this inconvenience. So this was the part, it's a very simple part. I hope you enjoyed it and like it. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.